Welcome back to Becca's Book Club. This week we have our good friend Joshi. He's feeling a lot better this week, so he's very excited to be here. Hi everyone. I feel great. I feel like I could do 500 jumping jacks. 500 jumping jacks? Oh my goodness. Joshi, I can tell that you're feeling better because that is a lot. Well, I'm really excited to have you here this week because there's two really cool things that we're gonna do on today's episode. The first is that we're reading a book that's called I Can Follow Jesus, and we're gonna learn some really cool things about God. The other thing is that I drew a picture and I'm really excited to show you. Wow, how exciting. Do you wanna read the book first or do you wanna look at the picture first? Mm, read first. I miss reading with everyone. Sounds great. Let's read. I Can Follow Jesus. God made everything, and He made the oceans in outer space. He made the insects and elephants. He made people. God is creative and powerful. God made people and me in a special way, in His image. That doesn't mean I look like God. It means I have a spirit. I can talk to God and listen to God. God gave people the job of taking care of his creation. That's so cool. Here's Adam and Eve. There's a monkey hanging from a tree. Elephant, just like our friend Beatrice. Looks like Joshy. There's some dolphins jumping, a worm. I love this picture, this is so cool. The Bible tells us how powerful God is. He can make it rain for 40 days and 40 nights, and he can close the mouth of lions. He can make a path through the sea to save his people. God Almighty is in charge. God is also eternal. He will always, always be. I would like to live with this powerful, eternal God forever, and I can. Whoa, look at these pictures. That looks like Noah's Ark. That's Daniel in the lion's den. And here's Moses parting the Red Sea with all the Israelites. And this looks like heaven. Beautiful. God is perfect and holy, and he always does what is right. I am not perfect. Sometimes I choose to do things my way, not God's way. That's called sin. Even when I want to do right, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I sin when I do what I know is wrong, like argue, complain, lie, steal. Sometimes I sin when I do not do what I know is right. Help my neighbor, give food to someone who is hungry, Looks like these guys are fighting, playing basketball. And this person needs help with the groceries. God is like a caring father. He loves me like his child and he wants me to love him. God wants me to love him more than anything else. He wants me to love people too, as much as I love myself. God is also a wise judge. He knows what's good for me and wants me to follow his rules. If I disobey God's rules, I deserve to be punished. But God is a good judge too. He planned a special way to forgive me for the wrong things I do. Hmm, I wonder what that is. God sent Jesus, his only son, on earth to live. He was perfect too, just like God. He taught people how to love and follow God. He did amazing things. He healed people who were blind. He walked on water. He brought people back to life. Jesus' miracles helped people to know that he is God's son. I can get to know Jesus by reading God's word. I can talk to Jesus when I pray. So here's Jesus walking on water. This looks like Lazarus. He's a man that Jesus raised from the dead. And here's a man, it looks like God gave him sight. The most amazing thing Jesus did was die on a cross. He died on a cross to take the punishment for my sin. 
This was God's plan for punishing sin and forgiving me. I didn't deserve God's forgiveness. He gives it to me as a gift. This is called grace. When I depend on the death of God's son, Jesus, to save me, it is called faith. God wants me to repent and be forgiven. Repent means to be sorry for my sins and turn to God. I can turn to Jesus and trust him to help me to think and act right. God also wants me to name Jesus as my Lord. That means I ask Jesus to be in charge of my life. When I believe in Jesus, my life will show it. Jesus will live in me. I can follow Jesus forever. Here's our verse at the bottom. It says, For God loved the world so much that he gave his only son. God gave his son so that whoever believes in him may not be lost but have eternal life. John 3.16 The end. Wow! What a cool book about Jesus. I like learning about him and who he is and what he does. Me too. What is one thing that you learned today about God, Joshi? Hmm. I think I feel like I understand that God is safe. Like a blanket. Or like a big sturdy rock. I agree, Joshi. When we put everything that we learned today about God, He's powerful, eternal, perfect. We know that He's so safe to follow. And if he's perfect, we know that he's not going to tell us anything that's wrong. He's not going to tell us to do things that are wrong. We know that we can follow him and trust his voice. Yeah, I can trust him and trust what he says and does. Yeah, Joshi, I see God the same way that you see him. I see him as safe. And actually, this is kind of brings me to the picture that I drew because I drew my house on a rock. And it's a big, eternal rock. So here is my house. I'm waving at you guys right here. The sun is shining. It's up so high. It is such a big rock. There's a red door in my house. You know, I always wanted a red door for my front door when I was little. So I drew that here. But this is a very safe place to be on the eternal rock. And this kind of like symbolizes what we learned about God, that he's eternal and that he's safe. Hey, that's kind of like the Bible verse about building your house on a rock. Yeah, totally. Um, we're going to look at that verse, but that's kind of where I got the idea that I built my house on a place that is super solid. Nothing can ever move the rock, so my house is pretty secure. Matthew 7, 24, 25. It says, Everyone who hears these things that I say and obeys them is like a wise man. The wise man built his house on a rock. It rained hard and the water rose, but the house did not fall because the house was built on the rock. I have a question. Yeah, Joshi, what's your question? Is following him like listening to him? Exactly, Joshi. Following is listening and obeying. And when you do those two things, your house is built on the firmest foundation that you can find in all of the universe. Cool. I'm going to draw a picture of my house in the universe with all the stars and planets. I have a really great idea, Joshi. Why don't you guys draw a picture about something that you learned this week from the book? and then ask your parents for help and send it in. And we would love to show it on here next week so we can all see how we see each other in our very different ways. I can't wait to see what you guys draw. Me too. Well guys, we gotta go. Me and Josh, you have swimming lessons again this week. Bye guys. Bye guys, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week.